Mr. Albeit. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. What for, Mr. Holmes? Children ought to be protected from unpleasantness. True. I know you were guilty of the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. In my state? You have to be joking. I'm afraid not. You had an accomplice. Tell me who. The judge will find out anyway. The judge? How so? You have nothing against me. Nothing. Here, and I'm going to stay with Miss Alice. What? Did you forget? Orson Wilde, you know, the star of American theatre. And he's visiting and staying with us. You did forget? No, no, not, not that. I, I meant you wanting to stay with Miss Alice. Yes, that's right. Miss Alice suggested it. She told me you couldn't possibly refuse. Why don't you stay with Mrs. Hudson? Oh, but Miss Caitlin has more in common with Miss Alice, and they get along so well. Guess what, Mrs. Hudson? Mr. Wilde is here to study my father's character for his next play. And he won't be disappointed, will he? Father is so pig-headed. I can't believe it. The great Sherlock Holmes standing in front of me. I'm sure that our two brains will... Brains. Mr. Wilde, your room. Charming. <laughs> this is such a fascinating city. We need to talk. I'd rather not. You're going to be angry again. Goodbye, Mr. Wilde. Is it five o'clock already? I think I might go and ask Mrs. Hudson for some tea. <laughs>